So whether you have an image, an image sequence, or a video clip, chromatic aberration will definitely make it look trippy, and it's a great way to add a bit of realism to a render or to intentionally do the opposite, and overall, it's it's just... So with Blender open, go to the compositing workspace and hit this button so we can actually see our nodes. And I know what you're thinking, do we really need to use nodes to create this chromatic aberration effect? And yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> and you're gonna need to suck it up because it's really not that hard. The basic idea is we're gonna take our input and separate it into its red, green, and blue channels, which we can then move around and recombine to get this dispersive look. So we can move around only the red channel, two channels at the same time, or even all three at once if you're feeling a bit risque. And to do this in Blender, you're gonna need to first import in whatever you're using. If you're using video footage, you'll be using a movie clip node for this and otherwise just use a standard image node. We're now gonna separate and combine by RGB channels, which effectively does nothing but by adding in some translate nodes, we can start moving around the individual channels. When you're happy with the final result, remember to connect our network to the composite node, and when we hit render, everything should work. If you want a slightly faster solution, just run your source input through a lens distortion node with fit enabled and start cranking up the dispersion. And there you go, you've added some chromatic aberration to your source input, and I guess I should also mention that if you want to do this to your blunder scene, you can do that by using a render layers node as your input. But yeah, that's it. To do this in blunder, and to do this in blunder, you're gonna... <laughs>